Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Bytes and in this video we'll talk about scoping rules. So the last thing we discussed was restriction rules and we saw that, you know, you can filter out access and, you know, you will not be able to see any records or open any records that you do not have access to. And then comes in scoping rules. What does scoping rules do? Let's take an example. Let's let's take a look at it into Salesforce. So the first thing is if I go to object manager, the first issue with restriction rules is that, you know, you do not find it for standard objects. It is only available for custom objects, but scoping rules are available for standard objects as well. Right. And then when I click on scoping rules for any object, you see this beautiful diagram coming up again, similar, similar to how we saw on restriction rules. You open up or you know grant access using OWD, role hierarchy and sharing mechanisms and then what you can do is you can refine your access by adding in scoping rules. Now how does this work and where does this is uh, where does it uh, deem to be helpful? Let's take a look at and at the article maps and let's take a look at this particular list view right here, right? I have this list view or let's go to accounts because we are on the account object and if I go to all accounts. I have this list of records coming in and if I open the filters, I see that, you know, there is a filter by owner scope that lets me filter by all accounts, by my accounts, which means the records that I own or by filter by scope. This is where scoping rules help in see records that are under your scope or that are defined for your particular user in terms of some criteria, right? If I go back to this diagram, this is exactly what it says. This says that, you know, you should be able to filter records based on the user needs and you can filter it by different uh, uh, values on the user record, but users can still access the records that are allowed by your sharing settings. So this is the difference between restriction and scoping rules. Scoping rules will only show you things that you are supposed to see, but it will not restrict you uh, from accessing any records that you do not have a scope to, right? That's way, that, that way scoping rules are different and they refine access, but they do not take away access like restriction rules. All right, let's go ahead and create a new rule here and let's see how this works. So if I go to the account object and I say create new rule, the window is similar to restriction rules. And again, you have one criteria you can define for users and one criteria based on the record. So if I just say the rule name is scope only lead source web, right? If I just give this here and I say that the user criteria should be if the user, let me just pick some uh, field from here. Let's say if the user if the user time zone, can I just pick one? Let's say if the user time zone is GMT minus GMT plus five. If this is the time zone, Antarctica Mawson time, in that case, show only those records wherein the user's account rating is cold. All right, I'm just a weird scenario just to figure out things, but yeah, that is what I wanted to uh, put up, which now any user who's, who's from this particular time zone, I'll just activate this particular scoping rule will be able to filter their records by scope and will only be able to see rating wherein the rating is cold. All right, let's click on save. And this particular rule has been configured. All right, good with the rule. Let's go and see how things look like. I'll go back to users and let's configure the time zone for one of the users that we have. So this map one user is the one that I used earlier. I'll just go back and say edit. And here I'll just configure GMT plus six or GMT plus five, right? This one right here. I'll just configure this particular time zone and say save. All right, let's go and try to log in. Let's go to the accounts object and let's click on all accounts, right? I do not see anything. And if I just say, this is a locked filter, I'll have to say filter by scope. So I'll have to log back out and log back in as the system admin to configure the list view. Let's go to all accounts and let's do something. Let's see. Let me bring in the rating field. Let's bring in the rating field here and let's see if there's any record that has the cold rating or not. So I'll just bring this here and say save. Right. Let's get rid of this and see. I see some records which are the cold rating. All right. And what I want to do is I want to say filter by scope for this particular list view and I say save. All right. Now let's go to the user and before jumping in, let me quickly check whether accounts have the relevant access or not, right? In terms of object level configuration or, you know, tab level. So tab is default on and you have the read, create, edit, delete access, which is fine. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and say save. And now let's get into the user and try to log in. 
all right i'll go to the accounts list view and if i go to the all accounts now i still don't see anything here this is filtered by scope so there's some issue with the account records let's go to contacts am i able to see all contacts i am not able to see any contacts as well let's log back out and let's see what's the problem so i might not have any access on the record so right so what i found out was there was no profile permission issue but for another video for for you know sharing settings we had defined account owds private so only record owners should be able to view it right i'll have to go ahead and modify this and at least give read only access right i'll say save okay and this should complete my sharing and now at least the record should be viewable by other users right let's wait until this completes i'll refresh one more time and now what we can do is we can go back to this user and try to log back in now that the owd is set to public read only at least the user should be able to view some records right so this is still saying it is initiated let me go ahead and log in let's see what happens and now if i go to accounts i just have to log in again map user 1 login let's go to accounts and now if i go to all accounts i see two records where rating is scored right so this is how filter by scope is working here right if you had filter by all uh, all accounts then you would see all the records but in view mode right because the owd is set to public read only if if it were uh, filter by my accounts you would see only records that you own or you have created right but filter by scope gives you takes into consideration the scoping rules and based on whatever you have access to and filter it out you know refine the access based on whatever the criteria is in this case rating equal to code and then show those records all right so this is how scoping rules work that's all for this video i'll talk to you in the next one bye